Lever from Devon, who started at Cardiff Metropolitan University this autumn and joins us now on the phone line from Cardiff. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Zara. So first of all, remind us, what's the current situation with restrictions in Cardiff where you are? Um, so up until today, we were, well, obviously until Friday, because that's when the new rules come, but at the moment we're allowed to mix outside. Um, I don't, and I don't believe you're meant to be mixing indoors. Um, but all the shops are open and um, it's still kind of normal um, compared to what it was like com before COVID. But now right. it's it's going to go back to obviously how it was like in March when only sure. obviously shops, food shops are open and obviously not being able to go out, um, say, if you want to go into town shopping or um, for a meal, for example. Okay, so you're currently self-isolating and also waiting for a coronavirus test result back as well because you, you had a few symptoms, you seem to think. What's your personal situation? Um, so last week, um, well, two weeks ago we were put into lockdown in my flat because a flatmate had symptoms. So we went into lockdown and she got tested and it was negative. So we were able to go back outside. Um, but then it turns out before that I'd obviously been in contact with someone who was positive for the virus. So I had to isolate and then that's when they called me and asked if I had any symptoms and I believe that I had, I had a couple. So obviously because the risk was so much higher due to me being in contact with someone who tested positive, um, yeah. we were put back into lockdown last Wednesday and I was tested on Wednesday afternoon and I am awaiting my test results. So how are you coping? You got enough food and stuff there? Um, luckily, I'd literally done a shop in the morning um, because I had no idea um, in the morning of Wednesday that that was going to happen. Um, so I'd popped down to Aldi or, um, and I'd got in food. So luckily, I've got, I've got enough food to get by and the university provided an emergency food pack. Good, OK. And what about the lockdown that's coming on Friday then, Zara? How are you feeling about that? Because that's going to be much more restrictive. Of course. Um, I mean, obviously, it's nerve wracking. I think it is for anybody in the situation. Um, I mean, for me, especially being so far away from home in Devon, um, I obviously I know it's going to be even longer now before I'll be able to go home and visit like my family and things. Um, so that's a bit obviously it's sad to know that that it will be a while before that happens. Um, yeah. But I I think it'll be okay. I think it's just, it's just crazy. Yes, of course, I understand. Difficult time. Now, you grew up with a foster family, didn't you, in Unaba? And you're using some of the spare time you've got in lockdown in Cardiff to fundraise for two charities. Tell us a little bit about what you're planning. You're doing a charity walk or hoping to do a charity walk. Yes, I have started it. Um, I've decided to walk 135 miles in my uni room. Um, I picked 135 miles because it's the distance from my university to home um, and I am fundraising for two charities and they are Young Minds um, because obviously a lot of people right now are struggling with mental health and um, I know in times that I've definitely probably got lonely in university um, so that's something that I really wanted to donate to and also Become which is a care leaver charity Right. Um, that supports care leavers um, and for example they have a virtual group for care leavers that I go to um, once a week or every other week. Um, so how are you doing this? How are you doing this Zara? When you say you're going to walk in your room for 135 miles, have you got a treadmill or have you sort of mapped out um, a 10 metre square in the room and you're just going round and round in circles like a caged lion? Um, the round and round in circles in a caged lion is true. I'm literally walking up and down and I have a Fitbit, so that is tracking my miles. Wow, so how many, uh, goodness, I'm trying to work it out. To do 134 miles, that's going to be literally thousands of circuits of your room, surely? Well, yesterday I did, the last two days I've done seven miles each day. Um, today I haven't done quite as many because I've had lectures all day. Um, so I've only just finished lectures about an hour, uh, half an hour ago. Um, so today I haven't done too many yet, but I'm hoping to get in a few before this evening. Um, but it's... Um, sorry, I completely forgot your question. <laughs> no, 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 no,
Well, I was saying, just it lost its thousands of circuits of your bedroom. Yes, indeed. About, I've worked out that about 15,000 steps is the equivalent to about 77 miles. Wow. Well, that's still going to take a number of thousands of steps, if not millions of steps. Listen, I wish you all the best with that. Hopefully you'll raise the money for the charities that you're supporting there. That's Zara Clench from Newton Abbott and currently... Thank you so much for your time today, Zara. We really appreciate it.